Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna cover visibility modifiers in Java, meaning we will set rules and limit how classes talk to each other. So let's get going. Don't forget this channel have a dedicated Discord server. It's a place where you can talk about the episodes and tutorials of this channel. Maybe you wonder something about the last episode that was a bit unclear. Or maybe you just wanna say hello. And for those who wish to go the extra mile to support the channel, there's a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page, and also there's a membership option here on YouTube. Thank you. What is a visibility modifier? It is simply a way to restrict access to methods, fields, classes, and constructors. That means that different modifiers will grant access differently. And we're going to start with private. And we have our classes here from our previous episode. So let's go to our main class. And I think that's first lesson. Yes, it is. And private means that if we have a private method inside a class, only that class can use that method. Same goes for its uh, fields. For example, if one of these variables were private, that means that only the class building, or we can only access these variables inside the building class. So let's demonstrate here. Um, let's actually use another class because we're gonna come to building when it comes to protected. But for example, we have an apartment class here and we have a constructor and that's it. But we're going to add a private method, private void hello message. And in here, we're gonna just have a hello, that's it. And now where we have our apartment object here, app, we can say app dot hello message. But we can't call that one because it says that the method is not visible to our first lesson class because it's private. However, if it were made public, then we could use it. So we will get an error if we try to run it now with this private modifier active, proceed. And we check the log. The method hello message from the type is not visible. So yeah, we cannot access methods or even private int number equals five from anywhere else but inside this apartment class. So in the constructor, we can say hello message and we can remove that one actually. And now we can run it and we check the console here. Hello. So this works very well. Before I get to the next modifier, I just wanna show this image, which you can see the different access levels depending on the modifier. So the one with the most access is of course public. The one that grants the least amount of access is of course private. And between these two, we have a modifier that is no modifier, and then we have something called protected. So let's get into the no modifier and what that means. And if you set no modifier or default, as it's also called, that means that you can access the methods inside the class with this modifier, but only in its in the same package. So right now we just use the default package. We never specified it. So let's go ahead and right click on our source new package and we can call this um, land like in land. And then we can also create another one called water. And let's now put all our apartments and everything by clicking them, holding shift, clicking to apartment, left drag into land. So now they should be in the package land. And if we wanna to go to our water package here and just create a new class, and we can call this um, ship because ship goes on water, so therefore. And let's just add a quick uh, constructor here. So public ship and then that and then so, so hello, I am I am a ship. And now in our first lesson here at the bottom, we can create a new object, a ship, so ship 
ship equals new ship. And it might give us error because it's in another project. So all we have to do is hover and it says import ship water. So we import it so we can use it. All right. So now when we run this game or run this program, we should get hello, I am a ship. That makes sense because it's public and public. But this class, let's make it to default or no modifier. And as you can see now, we get error because we cannot resolve it to a type. It gives an error because we cannot see it. It says here when we're trying to import it, change visibility of ship to public. It's not visible to this class. So that's what the no modifier or default modifier do. Let's go to our apartment. And instead of having it, we can remove this private int, this class, we can change it into a no modifier or a default. Then in our first lesson class, our apartment still works fine. There's no error here. That's because we're in the same package. So a no modifier or default means that methods, classes, and constructors can be accessed by other classes as long as they are in the same package. Next one we have is the protected modifier. And that allows us to access a method or a field in a class if two things are true or one of two things are true. One, it's in the same package. So for example, we have our building here and no, actually let's take apartment and change our hello message to protected void hello message. Now in our first lesson where we have our apartment here, we go up dot hello message. That is going to work. It's protected and we are in the same package as uh, apartment. So this will work. But if we go to our ship, let's bring him over here. Let's change ship to public. So it's just a normal class. And in our first lesson, let's uncomment ship import and also the ship construct. So if we run it now and take a look, we have hello from apartment, it works. And then of course, hello, I am a ship. And that's from the constructor of the ship. But let's add another protected here. Let's actually copy this one and then ship. We add the hello message in. And now if we try to call this message inside our ship, let's actually remove the one from app. And then we say ship dot hello message. We get an error. Change visibility of hello message to public. Okay, but how do we access this method? We do that by extending ship is another way. It's either inside the same package or the class that tries to call this method is a child of ship. So let's create a other class, but inside our land package here. So new class, and we can call this row rowboat doesn't really fit inside our land but that's okay extends ship so it's extending the ship class we just need to make sure to import this import and then inside here we just add a public rowboat and then we say hello message because hello message is part of ship protected here. So we are extending ship. That's why we can now call this method, even though we are in a different package. So let's remove this and row boat, row boat equals new row boat. And if you run it now, we should have that actual message come out. Hello. Let's take a look. Hello. Yeah, even though the method hello message is in ship and ship is in the water package, we can call this method from our rowboat because rowboat extends the ship. So it's either in the same package or it needs to extend the class with whatever is protected. 
And the last modifier that is accessible everywhere is, of course, public. And everything we have done so far has been public, public class, public static void, public constructor, and so on. And I don't think I really need to demonstrate it now. We've been using it from episode one till, well, this one. So yeah, those are the four modifiers. And that was all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. If you learned something, hit that subscribe button and also like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye.